Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all to my channel. You are watching series of videos under the head Do's and Don'ts in Purchasing and Selling a Property. In the previous two videos, you have seen the contents of sale agreement and whether registration is advisable or not, what is the law with respect to the registration. And in this video, we are going to see how to cancel the sale agreement. So once the sale agreement is registered and assuming that the party buyer did not come forward to pay the balance sale price and he did not come forward to complete the sale, you being the seller cannot leave the matter. Just because he paid the buyer has paid the sale price or advance amount and you are already got some advance amount, you, can, you cannot simply keep quiet and you cannot leave the matter. So it is your duty to cancel the sale agreement. Because if you go to the subregister office to sell the property to another person or suppose you want to settle the property to another your son or daughter, or if you want to go to buy, make a mortgage, the register may not permit you to make subsequent transfer deeds, sale deed, mortgage deed, settlement deed. And he may say that you have a you have you have made a registered a sale agreement, so I will not permit you like that, he may say. So to avoid any such circumstances, it is always better to cancel the sale agreement which you have made with your previous purchaser. So how to cancel the sale, deed, sale agreement? You can prepare a sale cancellation agreement and you can call for the previous agreement holder. You, the seller and buyer, who executed the previous sale agreement may directly cancel the sale agreement. So by way of executing a sale cancellation deed, you can cancel the previous sale agreement. That is the first way. Supposing the buyer did not come forward to execute any such deed, then the remedy is you will have to approach the court. You will have to approach the civil court, you have to file a civil suit, suit for a declaration saying that the agreement is null and void, it is cancelled or like what it is revoked, like you can issue a notice to the buyer saying that you did not come forward to pay the balance sale price, you did not come forward to execute the sale deed. So we are cancelling the sale agreement. Like that you can issue a notice, on the basis of that you can file a civil suit declaring that the part such and such agreement is cancelled by way of such and such notice and it has no enforce. Uh, by, by, and you can also implead the sub consent sub as a party and you can also ask for a direction to sub to note down that to take notice about the cancellation of the sale agreement and permit you to go for a registration of subsequent document. Like that you can file a suit and get proper relief, proper judgment, direction from the court. That is, it is one of the way. Another way is that in the previous agreement itself you can specify that the particular sale agreement is valid only for a particular period of time. If you put a sufficient class saying that this agreement shall be valid for a period of three months and the buyer should pay the parent sale price and complete the sale transaction within that three months period. In the event of his failure to pay the balance sale price and complete the sale within that specified three months period, this agreement shall automatically be cancelled. 
no further cancellation is required. This agreement, this class, the expiry of this particular period itself is automatically the agreement will be cancelled. Like that, if you put a time is essence of the contract, like that, if you put in a class in the previous agreement, then on the basis of that, you can explain the subrista saying that the agreement is automatically cancelled in person of the particular class in persons of on the upon the expiry of the time period. That, that is also one of the way. If the registrar did not accept this thing, you can make a complaint to the district registrar. I can also make a complaint to the IG registration. Or, or, or in the alternative, you can bring one more, you can submit another document like settlement deed, agreement, sale agreement with another party or marquage deed to that particular party. Again, you can insist the party, the registrar to register the subsequent documents. If you did not come forward, and if you refuse to register the subsequent document, you can ask the subregister to pass an order, refusal slip, issue or receive refusal slip. You can take the refusal slips to the district registrar or IG registration and then ultimately to the High Court. And then you can get a direction from the court saying that directing the subregister to ignore the sale agreement since it is cancelled. So these are all the ways. So once a sale agreement is made and it is not, the buyer did not come forward to pay the balance sale price and to complete the sale, you can issue a notice to the buyer saying that you did not come forward to pay the sale balance sale price, you did not come forward to complete the sale. So I am cancelling the sale agreement. Like that you can issue a notice. Then you can also, on the base of the notice, you can file a civil suit saying that, civil suit for declaration, declaring that such agreement is cancelled by, through by way of this instrument. In the civil suit, you can also implead this consent of prisoner as a party. And you can also ask for a declaration, uh, direction relief. Direct, uh, you can also ask for a direction to direct the sub to register subsequent documents. So this is one of the another way. So the best way is to make a class in the original agreement itself for an automatic cancellation of the sale agreement. If such class is there, you can insist the sub saying that, uh, so you can insist sub to take notice of that automatic cancellation class and to permit you to register a subsequent document. If such class is not made upon the expiry of the relevant period, you can give an, you can you can make a petition to the sub or to a district registrar or IG registration and work out a remedy. If this thing did not work out, you can approach the high court by way of filing a rate or you can file civil suit based upon your legal notice or personal notice terminating the agreement or cancelling the agreement. So these are all the ways to cancel the sale agreement. I hope this video will be useful to the concerned parties who are suffering with sale agreement registration. So you may watch my channels. There are two channels. Rasiyak Chattamarivam is a Tamil channel. Rasiyak Law Tube is an English channel. <coughs> in addition to that, you may also watch all my videos in my websites, Ali Associate Chennai, which is available in Google Sites. In addition to that, if you have any specific doubts, you may also contact me for clarification or for consultation. Depending upon my time and availability, I will try to help you to give you a record consultation. Depending upon my time and availability. I will come again with another topic. Until then, goodbye.